Oh. Oh, yeah. It worked. So that's good. Of course, I'm going to make a round two, but this came up like a bike plan was not to make this right now. It was to make this after mopping the stage, the side, and the back. And after I need to make the batroy and mop the center and clean the, the bowl of toilet and the white from there. But that's it. So, what came up, and this is before the equinox, the 22, September 2019. So, this came up, and I need to tell you this, that we are not in control of the avatar. No, but we control the avatar. Like, there is two parts of who we are. We, the human, and the higher self, you know? The higher self is the one, it's like a chip in the brain that is activated from you outside of your body into the galaxy, like somewhere on another uh, dimension, you know? That controls us the avatar here on planet Earth. But we know that, well, now you know, but it's something that, like when you start thinking about this and you're aware that, like sometimes you want to do stuff, but you can't. Because your higher self did not guide you to do it. But, like, nowhere, suddenly you, you are able to do this, and that was the plan. This is the higher self. I, I really jump, for real. I, I really, really jump. Like, that, that where that comes from? It, it was a speaker. Okay. Woo! Live! On stage! Round two! And by the way, uh, it's on purpose that you see my peel there because I'm not bullshit you. Uh, I was ready to mop, but my higher self tell me, no, make this now. So, that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna give you an example. Sometimes I want to perform and when I consciously go there, not guided, like I don't have this intuition, oh you need to go there, like I go there by myself, uh, I always struggle, you know, because it's like I try to force things, you know, but sometimes it's supposed to happen, you know, because like I need to be in control in a certain way of my own path and I, I, I need to, to test the ground, you know? Like, the higher self cannot guide you all the time, all, all the time, you know? Because you need to learn from your own guidance. But, remember, like, you are the higher self, and you are the human as well. You are both, you are everything. But there is one path, and there is another path. But this path, like without the higher self guiding you, and you go by your own will, it's supposed to happen. You're supposed to try this. And when your higher self is guiding you, oh, okay, now I need to go there and, and then everything falls into place and it's beautiful. It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. That's it. So, okay, so this is out of the way, so 
I want to talk about the manifestation that is going on right now that I need to mention one thing. This is supposed to happen. Okay? It's time. But is it the right way? Not really. This, like the four million people who are manifesting for I don't know what because I'm not checking the news, but I hear something about this. Well, you know, I gotta tell you something, and I hope, hope that you truly resonate with this. The government want your attention. So, they're gonna use negativity, they're gonna use everything that trigger the toxic people that are not in divine alignment, they are not doing their purpose. They are slave to the government. So, that's pretty powerful. But uh, where I was going with that is that when we don't pay attention to them, they will do the right thing. But if you give them attention, they will do the wrong thing. Or they will do nothing. Anyway, so, yes, yes, it's supposed to happen that the 4 million people, or who knows how many people, will join and march in the street and unite, and this is supposed to happen, and it's cool that everybody unite, but they don't unite for the good reason. They unite out of anger, they are not in their heart. Because when you are in your heart, you don't need to manifest and you don't need, you don't believe that the government can govern you. Because you are, each and every one of you are the universe. And like I said, the only person who can control you is your higher self and your own guidance as a human. But both of you, the human and the higher self, it's you. That's the only one who has power over you. But if you go far and unite with all the people and strike and show how unhappy you are, you show that you are a slave to the government that don't want you the best interest. They are there just to maintain the chaos. Because you pay attention to them. You is up. They feed all of your attention. Like I know this is really powerful, but you need to seek it all in, you know? So that being said, I said, don't pay attention to them, turn off the news, turn into your own news. Pay attention to what you are doing. And if you not like what you are doing in your life, well, spice it up and go into the unknown because in the unknown, it's there the magic happens. Okay, so another topic. Let's talk about health, baby. Let's talk about health, baby. You know why? Because I was not healthy before. And I know what it's like to be not healthy. And I know what it's like to be 100% vegan and hang out most of the time in nature. And before I was eating greasy food, and you know, uh, coffee, all the GMO that exists, and it was all good. But how do I was feeling? Always in pain, my stomach, and oh, I have no energy. You know, because 
because this is a trap. All the GMO, all the coffee, all the bad addiction, and you know it, gonna keep you in the lower dimension for you to strike and show that you're a slave to the government and that you are not in your power. But I am in my power and so are you. And if you're not reclaim back your power right fucking now, because there is only now. So, there is transition in life. So, you cannot jump from one boat of being really not healthy and taking all the GMO in the world to 100% vegan. It's like it takes me years to get there. And it was not easy, but you know what? Testing the ground. One thing at a time. I go into whole food and I take one thing. And after I take another one and I and another one, and another one lead me to another one, and then I get only this. And something that nobody tell me, but you need to invest in superfood. You know, in supplement, you need this, because when you detox yourself, you're gonna need to, like, uh, release all the bad that, that you inflict yourself for so long. And for me, it was for 29 years. 29 years of hurting myself unconsciously and I am a slave and I am striking and I am a slave to the government. 29 years. And it's been 4 years now that I reclaimed back my power gradually and, but I was smoking cigarettes, I was taking drugs, I was alcoholic, I need to stop all this. And I all did that by myself. And I lose people along the way because they were not able to join me and that's okay. But at that time, it was not okay. You know, I was upset that they don't join me. Because I was not understanding why, you know, I think of the right path. Finally, I had the courage to do it. But they don't. They chicken out. So don't be a chicken because you know what happened to chicken in the wild? They get eat and it's not a good thing. So, okay. So that being said, oh, I, 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 in this video I'm going to say this. Like it's been two months now that I don't take organic coffee, I don't take any coffee outside of my home. And the coffee that I take right now, it's decaf, organic, mushroom coffee. I buy it on Amazon. It's a small jar, and you take just a teaspoon of it, and you put it in your cup. And me, I put stevia, uh, sugar in it, two bags in it, and I stir it, and I put it in a, a thermos. I put it in a thermos, and it's good all afternoon, it stay warm, it's good, and I, it helped me to stay focused. And it, it gives me energy. So, th you know, th this is the purpose to drink coffee. But when you take organic coffee, but like with caffeine, it speeds you up. I understand that sometimes it's necessary. I got I don't open it yet, but I, in the past I take a lot of, of it and it was useful to prime me to move into action. But there is another level of productivity and it's what I'm talking to you about. It's decaf mushroom coffee. It's the best. Like it's the top of the top of the coffee. So, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, squad, chicken, stop. You know what to do. Share it and uh, give it a heart if you resonate with it. And I will see you next.
time, right here on stage in my church. Oh.